change Got a little bit of change in my pocket, but I maintain We were young and in this world, chasing dreams and girls Hello, you guys Hello, beautiful people Hello, hello, hello Welcome back or to my channel This video is a bit late Today is May 4th but I wanted to make this video on April 27th. And why do you may ask? April 27th is the day that marks that I've been natural. This year, April 27th, which just passed, marks four years. And I like, kind of forgot about it. But I was re-watching some of my videos and I was like, oh. First ever video, I'm pretty sure it's still my channel. My first ever video was me doing the Bantu nuts. And that was on transitioning hair. A day after that video, I cut my hair. I bit chopped. Bit chopped. And yeah, so that day marks history and I've been natural ever since. Um, so I just kind of want to make a video on my journey and talk about the ups and downs and things that I've learned. I remember I started like watching YouTube. This is back in 2015. And I was watching YouTube videos and i was really 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 obsessed with people's curly hair it was like what does my hair do that but at the time i had a perm so i'm like uh like i didn't know anything so i thought literally for me i thought you just wash your hair you wet your hair and then boom curls i was booty booty wrong that's not true at all i remember like i was watching videos and stuff and then i knew i had friends with curly hair and i would ask them like what products do you use what child do you, like you know that i was i was asking those questions those things don't make your hair curly those those things don't make your hair curly but anyway i didn't know anything i started to actually do research at this time and i was like you know what i want to go natural how to go natural and i was like you know what i'm gonna grow out my hair my natural hair and just cut off the perm ends as it time goes on it's long enough i'll just cut it and i did that and i I was actually wearing my hair in like cute styles. I was doing bantu knots and perm rod sets. Like those, I think those are the only two things that I did. At first I was bantu knot, I was the bantu knot queen. And everybody at school, I remember every single day, they did not go by that. Someone did not ask me. Oh my God, how did you do your hair? Oh my God, I love your hair. Oh my gosh, did you do Oh my God, what products did you use? Da -da 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 -da. And like every single day, every single day, perm rod sets. And also, I'm gonna insert clips here and there, just pop up, pop up, whatever. And so yeah, so then I started doing um, perm rod sets. Perm rod sets became me. That came my thing. I just, I was the perm rod queen. I mean nothing. And then finally, that video that I posted on my channel, the day after, I don't know what it was. I don't know what possessed me, but i what i did was i went i remember and I, i'm so mad i didn't record it and what i did was i wet the back of my hair and then i was seeing like where the curls were and then where this was like you know you can see the line of demarcation but the thing is too you need to know this when you are transitioning your hair may seem longer than what it is because you're you're transitioning your permed roots I mean your permed ends and let me stop saying perm i'm gonna say relaxer but your relaxed ends are weighing down your your natural hair your roots when i wet my hair to see you know the the growth or whatever i thought my hair was longer than what it was so what i did was i literally just grabbed like a couple strands mind you obviously my hair wasn't embraced like this but my hair is actually out i grabbed some hair like about probably like this much maybe less than that honestly but i grabbed some hair spray some water so i could see the different and i literally just grabbed scissors i did it all the way in the back of my head so that i wouldn't ever be able to tell but i just grabbed some scissors and i cut all the curls and i was like let me do some more i did some more and let me do some more and then i did more and i was like wait let me do more more and then all of a sudden i just did my whole entire head i cried and i was like oh my god i showed my mom i was like what i'm bald i cut my hair off and she was like uh <laughs> it's cute i like it and the crazy thing my cousins came over everybody was at my house at the time and they saw me they're like oh my god but you finally did they were happy like oh my god you finally did it my hair grew so fast i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna post pictures here and there i 
started doing braid outs, twist outs, and I was really doing box braids. At this time, I would like get box braids and keep it in for like a month or something and put them back in. Like, I didn't mind that. Well, even when I did take them out, I was taking care of my hair until I started dying that bitch. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about dye. Really, whenever I dye my hair, I only dye the ends. Never touched my roots, ever. Put emphasis on never. And I was like, you know what, I wanna go blonde. Bought box dye that was for blonde. You know, said it's gonna get your hair blonde. You know, on the back of it, when they show you like, your hair is this color, and then once you put the thing to your hair, your hair gonna be this color. That was all cap. Don't trust those boxes, cause they not, Anyway, put out my hair, my hair turned brown. Golly. Then I was like, okay, I don't want this. I want my hair to go back to black. I got my friend to dye my hair my natural hair color. She didn't dye my hair my natural hair color. She dyed my hair brown. Again, mind you, she put it on my roots too. My right, hair's brown and I'll answer clips. Let me tell you that this stage of my natural hair journey was probably the most fun to me. I loved that color. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm like, okay, I love that color. That color, that color was like crack to me. At first it took me a while to grow on me because it kind of like was color like close to my skin color, but like it was so cute. So then I got a weave and my leave out was the color of the of my hair, which is brown, but then my hair was this color was black. <laughs> brown weave. I had brown weave out and then black weave and it was looking crazy. So I had to dye my leave out black to match my, I mean to match my weave. I took out the weave. I freaking had to dye my whole entire head black because I had a black patch, but then I my the rest of my hair was brown. So it didn't make any sense. So then I went black, graduating high school. I graduated, baby. I went to the store and this decision will forever, I wish I never made this decision. It was booty long, like, tell me not, it wasn't booty long, but that, it was the longest it's ever been. And I was like, you know what? I want to bleach my hair. It's going to get blonde at the end. Like, I got my friend to, the same friend that did my hair the first time, the same friend that did it again. She bleached my hair, I'll insert clips again. She bleached that shit and it came out cute. I liked it. it I did like it, but it. It honestly, I think I was tricking myself to think it was more damaged than what it was, but I thought that it was damaged and I ended up cutting it so short. Oh my gosh, I, I, I cut it so short and I just basically kind of reset from there. Now I'm going off to college. I decide I want my hair burgundy and my hair's already blonde so I can just put it on top. So I did that and it was fine, whatever, because it's starting to fade. So what did I do? color oops color oops and i stripped that color out of my hair it left my hair like looking like fire you know how fire like it has like that ombre effect it's like red and then orange like that's literally what my hair looked like all my friends kept saying i have fire hair like that's literally what it looked like then i bought i bought blonde box dye put that over my hair and that shit looked so ugly then <laughs> 2018 i was working and i remember they didn't want me to have color hair so I dyed my hair black just for that job. I bought more. Oh no, I didn't buy more shit. The bleach that I had from before, I had more and I was at my house bored. And what did I do? Bleached my ends again. Let me say that while I was at school that first year, my hair was so damaged. I have this drive to get my hair back together. And at the time I wasn't using deep conditioners and I should have. But once I did, my hair was getting back to life. It was a sophomore in college. That's when I really realized like I need to get my stuff together. September, 2018, I said no more color. So that little ugly blonde, when I bleached my hair that last time after, okay, so 2018, August, I had the black hair for work. No, I mean, sorry, July, 2018, I had my hair black. So I did that once I quit in August, I bleached it again with the bleach that I had in my house. And uh, yeah, after that, I realized, okay, I'm doing too much. Once I went off to college for the next semester, so now this is September, I decided that no more. I was like, no more color. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. I can't do it. Like, not doing what I was supposed to do. I want to be Miss Color the Queen, but it's not working out. But what I did was, and I realized that black really looks good on me. Like, it's my color. So I went, bought, bought, blah, 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 got black box dye. And then I 
dyed my hair black in 2018. And majority of my videos um, are from, are me with my black hair. That's when my hair flourished, flourished. Using Afro-G, 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 just a protein treatment. Crack, use it. If your hair is like damaged or limp or you just need some life back into your curl. I still use it to this day. And my hair grew, my hair flares, my curls were thick. My, like honestly, I think that that period of my hair was my favorite part of my, part of my hair. Journey, favorite part of my hair journey. I really like took step and did the everything that I needed to do to get my hair right. I started doing wash and goals. That's when that was the period of wash and goals. I ain't never do a wash and go before in my life. Well, I did, but I never did them good. I became the wash and go queen. That's how I knew. That's how I knew. That's how I knew. I'm still doing them today. So let's fast forward. Now it's 2019. Now my hair is back to black, cause like I said, it looks best on me. And look, now my hair is bootylicious long. And that is on period. Look at this. The last time that I measured my hair, my hair was like right here. My hair was longer than this, but I got my hair straightened in February of this year for my birthday. And <coughs> they trimmed off a good amount because my hair was very, very, uh, <coughs> the ends needed to be cut. But now my hair is still the same, still flourishing and yeah, so I'll just say, if you want a big chop, big chop. If you want to grow it out, grow it out. Do what you want to do. Do, you know, everybody's story is different. During those four years, the first two, I was still very much learning how to be natural and what it took and what works for my hair. Like, I think I was still really like influenced by other YouTubers and stuff and what they were doing and what products were for them. Like, you have to figure out your hair, literally. Like that's that's all you can really do. You have to figure out your hair. Like probably once once I was in my sophomore year, once it hit 2018, once I dyed my hair black that last time, September 2018, my mindset completely changed and it helped my hair so much. So much. Cause I got it together and I finally was like, okay, now you're doing too much. And I'm not doing too much anymore. But yeah, as of now, I've been using this, which is crazy because I never thought that I would ever do this, but I've been using these. I don't know if they're working. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I probably used about half of them already, but I honestly don't know if these are working. They're growing on my nose, I'll tell you that much. But as far as my hair, I don't know. And then this is also cracked to me. It's literally a sip left, <laughs> a sip. And then, I've been using the Afro G uh, treatment to my hair, the protein treatment, but also the deep conditioner. I'll put that picture in. And yeah, I just I just feel like my hair is loving me because I'm loving it. Psychology. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That's really it. Basically, health over length. I definitely learned that. And now I learned that I can have both. I can have length and health. But follow me on my social medias. My name's Nine, it's pretty much on everything. Follow my TikTok. Oh. Tell me about your journey. Comment down below what you thought about this video. What you want me to do next. Um, like the video, subscribe, turn on that bell. And on that note, I'll see you guys in my next video.